How has been your day? I greet you, every one of us, wherever you are watching me from, uh, Germany, Canada, uh, Europe, uh, Africa, wherever you are watching me from. Uh, may Obatala bless you. May Obishallah continue to bless you. Uh, yes, quickly. Uh, as I said, this is the second um, edition of the How do we know that uh, Orisha is in us and is Orisha calling us? It's important for us to know because um, Orisha work in a very um, different ways. Orisha work in different ways. So we need to understand the way Orisha work. It's not um, it's not just a thing that one just wake up and start saying, "Oh, I have a dream, and my my forefathers or whatever appeared to me." Yeah, things like that happen. But at the end of the day, Orisha is not just working in the dream. Orisha work in physical realm as well. What I mean by that is, um, Odisha himself is not uh, an idol, it's not something, it's not what people are saying. Some naive people that know nothing about Odisha, that said Odisha is just a statue, it's just a cup that is there, it's just a cup that you put in a place and then uh, uh, if you don't push it, it won't go. No, it's not like that. Odisha are spirit beings and they are. They are like messenger because they are more than messenger. They are like messenger of uh, of Olodumare, and they were sent into this world by Olodumare to come and um, repair so many things. The, and we should understand what we mean by Orisha, which if you go to my Past, pu, pu, uh, my past videos, you will understand what I mean by that. So the most important thing is for us to really understand what I'm talking about. Or we shall work in different ways, we work in different um, dimension, and we work in different atmosphere. Uh, like Orisha can come to you. Even in the realm of the spirit, or she can come to you in the spirit form and go straight into your heart and start ministering to you and uh, start telling you. And it to prove it, it to push you to some certain place to realize, to see the physical manifestation of Orisha. Yes, Orisha can come into physical manifestation so that you really know that he's here, he's right there with you, and. Uh, it all depends the type of Orisha. Orisha Obatala, which I'm talking about. Uh, Obatala can, Orisha Allah, can approach his children, approach any of his children, even though you do not know them, even though you do not, he haven't heard about, you have not heard about Obatala. Obatala can visit you, both spiritual and physical. Um, and he will make himself known to you. Orishala Batala is a divinity one that uh, show you way to the good path of your side and um, and show you your path to be patient in every situation. Uh, and he will lead you to your heart desire that is good. So as I said Obatala can really come in you, can really appear to you, it can come into your thoughts for good desire to make you to know who he is and um, make, him, make you to understand the realm of his existence 
so that you understand how he uh, prays. Um, when you are the daughter or a son to Obatala, there are some silly signs you we have. Some will have marks in their body. So there is what we call a birth mark of Obatala. The sign to look like springling sign in your body. It will have like a spot. Some will have a very big patch. Will be somehow yellow and it has sprinkles all over body. Those are sign, physical sign for you to know that your battle it could be on your back, it could be on your neck, it could be on your face. And you can even see sometimes it comes out from your mouth. It will be yellow. Uh, well, you know the the white the smart people, the scientists or whatever, they always know how to give name. They know how to give name to all these things. To them, they said it's a sickness, but this has been existing for centuries that they don't even have a cure. They don't even know how to cure it. But when you become a child and you begin to understand and begin to go draw nearer to your ancestors, to your to Orishala, you begin to realize and you begin to know those are supernatural uh, sign to really identify it of Atala children. There will be a kind of mark in your body that will be yellow or whatever. You are special being set aside for Obatala. So and then the second the second one is the way you do your things, uh, the way you do things in life. Things will be a little bit difficult, things will be hard and then if you really don't know this Orisha and you really don't discover yourself you cannot be able to maneuver all these things. So it is good for you to, you know, understand the way of Atala operates so that you can overcome most of these obstacles in life. Abatala is a calm spirit. Abatala is um, a soft spirit. And uh, Abatala is disciplined. Abatala doesn't like people that um, lies. If you lie, if you are doing uh, all kind of hard jobs like um, stealing, um, doing all kind of nasty things, a batala will take you out from there and then um, it will even allow them to even catch you so that you will know that what you are doing is wrong. A batala does not support evil doings, it supports pure minded things. And if you are somebody that always fights for justice, somebody that always stands for somebody, you are a, so that's a sign of Obatala children and um, you'll be somebody that is always drawn to anything that is pure, anything that is pure. And nobody's perfect, but um, like, like anything that is really green top, uh, like yeah, gold, white, yeah, something that's really that can catch people's eyes and something that is green that can draw people close to you.